Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Hannah Jabour, TME leader, part of TDNR. In this video, we're gonna look at how Cisco XDR integration with Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, which is the EDR solution provided by Microsoft. And we're gonna focus on the section that's related to the pass of the data from the detection on Microsoft EDR or Microsoft Defender for Endpoint into how it become an incident inside XDR. We're gonna look at the data path throughout that transformation. So let's get started by looking at MS Defender alerts. So we're gonna look at incidents alerts inside our organization in MS Defender. I'm gonna sort by um, severity descending. So I could look at the highest priority actual detections. I'm going to choose one of them and look specifically at that alert. So we can see um, there's multiple um, parts of this alert. It's, a, it's a, like a, a series of actual detections that came through on that specific endpoint or multiple series of endpoint. In this case, it's on an endpoint called XDR CDR QA4. So you see like a Rubius um tool has been detected. Uh, multiple times on the devices, we see Keiko malware was detected. Um, multiple dual purpose tools were dropped. So you can see all of these type of detections. If I click on any of those, um, you can open up even the alert page to look at some more details in there and to understand exactly uh, what occurred. And you look at the first activity when all this information can be seen here. So this is like um, the detection on MS Defender itself. XDR periodically is gonna pull data out of MS Defender. This is gonna vary um, from a time perspective is approximately every a minute to maximum five minutes in order to be as close as possible to real time. This actual pulling of data is gonna lead at a certain point to create an incident if there is enough evidence that an incident need to be created or it's part of a, another big incident. So here we're gonna look at one specific incident inside uh, XDR. I'm gonna choose one of those uh, alerts. I'm gonna immediately pivot into the XDR analytics section. So this is how this actual attack or attack chain is gonna look at look like inside XDR analytics. You can see multiple detections throughout uh, time that are actually correlated, either if they are related to one or multiple hosts, all of them are connected inside that attack chain. You can see multiple type of detections. Um, I could click on one of those actual detections, which is basically in alert inside XD Analytics. This alert is called Suspicious Endpoint Finding Bilateral Movement. And you can see what is the specific alert by itself, the alert type, the description of it, the mitre mapping of that specific alert. Obviously from the name, it's lateral movement related. And you can scroll down and see the observations. And at the level of observation, this is where you actually start to know that this is coming from MS Defender. Because this could come from different vendors depending on the integration you've got with XDR. In this case, we look at this one, we got like Rubius in here uh, that was detected, the, the exact same information I was showing earlier inside the portal of the Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. And this is exactly where we're gonna see the different information. So you can see uh, even the path, the arguments, uh, all this information that were collected from uh, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So this is how the data has reached over here. So technically, the detection becomes in a side, um, Microsoft Defender becomes an observation, like one of these, if there is enough evidence that this should be actually elevated to an alert, then it becomes an alert at a certain point if this alert is actually um, worth to be become an attack chain or part of an attack chain, that's the attack chain. And then part of that, you get that XDR incident. And if you click on that view details of the incident, this is the specific incident we're speaking of. So we've seen now all the path from an actual detection inside Microsoft Defender into an incident inside XDR end to end. Hopefully this information has been useful for you guys and informative. Tune in for the other videos on XDR integrations with any other product now with MS Defender.